In this video, we are going to discuss about how to create the Spark local dev environment with the help of IntelliJ IDEA. I am going to create a new project in IntelliJ IDEA. I am just going to create select file new project. And here I have selected as a Maven and we can use any SDK, but at least not less than 1.8. Next, and here I have to give the uh, project name i am going to give something called local setup and give some artifact id spark local and finish i'm going to open a new window and so here we have form.example here we need to add the dependencies something like no So here we have to add two main dependencies, like something you know, spark port. Let's find the latest version 3.0. We can add the same. And uh, another is for SQL. Okay, here it is. Right. And the latest version is 3.0. And so if we have added the dependency and let's go and create a simple Java class for local setup and create simple main method. Create a spark session. Spark session equal to spark session. Some dot builder dot app name dot master dot get dot create. <clears throat> so here we need to give some app name so whenever we're going to create a spark application we're supposed to define the uh, spark application name so here we can give any name now i'm going to give spark local setup and in a master i have to give local so that's it about the Spark session object creation. Now we need to just for the debugging purpose, I'm going to add something. Let's see whether the application is created properly. Spark application. Name. So it gets a uh, Spark application name from the Spark session. So Spark session Spark context dot app name. Okay. And what else we can able to do? Let's see. Yeah, we can get the DeFi one more. That's fine. Right. Okay, fine. So that's it. Let's run the simple application and go to the host space anywhere in the host space. Right click and uh, run. Uh, oh my god. So it's class not from the exception. How from possibly? Class is there, but it says not from the exception. Uh, let's go to the prompt example. Okay, the class. 
which class is not found? Spark session. Spark session in Spark SQL. It is had a group ID, so the version is there. So uh, that is the reason there is more red mark. And oh, the scope. We need to remove the scope. We save the same and just do the referrals and run this application again. Let's see. Or start building. Yes, it started successfully without any error. Okay, so so the application name is what we have given the same things for local setup, and the deployment mode is client because we are running it in the single mode, so it is a client mode. Okay, now come to that master. So if you want to utilize all the resource in the mission, so we have we supposed to define start. So uh, under the local, so we can define one to n number or we can define asterisk symbol. So if we define asterisk symbol, which means you know, so it will, it will, the Spark application will utilize all the resources in the given mission, which means, so it, say for example, if the mission having four core in the sense, it will utilize all the four cores. But I don't want to use all cores. I have to use one. My Spark application has to use only two cores. The remaining two cores, two cores to it should be free in the sense, you know. So we, if it we have to define its local of two. So if we define the local of two in the sense, it will replace the Spark application will replace only two cores. The two the remaining two cores will be free. <clears throat> and so if it not defined anything definitely the spark will replace only one core whatever the core which we have in the mission okay so according to my suggestion we'll do the developing an app a spark application in local environment better we can define it as a, just a single core because you know it is easy to debug and all okay so and so again i'm just refreshing so this is just to create a basic uh environment setup about the Spark and it's about to create the Spark session. In subsequent video, we can discuss about how to load the data into Spark and how to uh, do some transformations and actions later in the coming upcoming videos. Thanks for watching. So, if you have any clarification or doubts, please post it in the comments. Thank you all.